The survival of children born before week 37 of pregnancy has increased due to advances in obstetric and neonatal care, especially in those cases at the limit of viability. The Spanish Society of Neonatology indicates that a premature baby is one born before 37 weeks of gestation. Perhaps the concept pretend is more correct since it doesn't imply an assessment of maturity of the newborn baby. Let's continue with the possible alterations in the physical development of the premature baby. The majority of children classified as premature baby are born after the presentation of a spontaneous preterm delivery. There are some maternal factors that has been associated with the premature birth of the baby. For example, previous preterm births and unfavorable situation at a social and economic level, smoking, multiple gestation, different medical complications such as hypertension, intrauterine malnutrition, the disorders with the highest incidence in the preterm newborn are related to immaturity and hypoxia. The immaturity and hypoxia are produced by the shortening of pregnancy and a lack of postnatal respiratory adaptation after suppression of transplacental oxygenation. This profile of immaturity characteristic in the preterm infant is determined by different condition of the organs and some physiological processes. For example, lung function is compromised by several factors, among which are the central neurological immaturity and the weakness of the breathing muscles. The weakness of the breathing muscles is associated with a lung with poor alveolar development and also with a deficit in the surfactant synthesis. Pulmonary surfactant is a complex of proteins and lipids capable of reducing surface tension within the pulmonary alveoli preventing them from collapsing during exhalation. The weakness of the breathing muscles is also associated with the respiratory affections. They are the leading cause of the morbidity and mortality in premature babies. At the ophthalmologic level, characteristically retinopathy of prematurity is found which is linked with lack of vascularization of the retina that produce preterm birth and the subsequent disorder growth of new vessels. We have also some alterations in the cardiovascular system. Early hypotension is more frequent when the birth weight is lower and seems to be related to the inability of the otomy nervous system to maintain an adequate vascular tone. We have also other complications such as gastrointestinal complications, for example, poor motility, metabolic complications, for example, poor thermoregulation, the prognosis about neuropsychological development of the premature baby is very variable. Although clear relationship has been observed between prematurity, low cognitive and academic performance, some emotional and behavioral alterations which can extend beyond childhood. This was a small introduction to the possible alterations in the physical development of the premature baby.